What's going on, everybody? So I just talked about the Pokemon fake th uh, fakes that I was uh, given a link to, and I finally found it. Took me a second to get to it and everything. So what I want to talk about here, and I'll show you guys the pictures. This was done on Instagram. From my understanding, if somebody just put the picture of these fakes up, like on Instagram or eBay and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to tell the difference onto it, but if you see it in person, I guess you can. I don't know a whole lot on Pokemon. I know, like, what to buy, when it comes out, you know, and stuff like that there. But as far as finding fakes without, like, ripping the card in half, I, I have no idea. And that might just be Magic the Gathering that has that weird middle. I can't remember offhand. I know somebody's going to get me in the comments, so it's one of the two. But, all right, let me pull this up. See if I can make this a little bit bigger for everybody here. I gotta go on this screen here. All right. So I I don't know who Clutch Consignment is at all. Anybody? So I, it's I'm not trying to ding anybody or nothing like that. They brought this up. They said these were the best fakes they've seen. You know, some people laughed at them and said, "Hi, oh, I've seen better and all that." But well, you know, when you're dealing with this stuff, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, there's no. Uh, PSA thing at the bottom, but I was also told like the new, the older slabs are going to be real hard to tell on to it, uh, just because of the different markings and stuff. Until I'd see one in hand, I wouldn't be able to really tell by. But if I was skimming through eBay and stuff, I probably wouldn't you know notice the difference to be honest. But be careful on your Pokemon's out there. They're actually copying the serial numbers just like they've done in the past. You can look it up on PSA. It'll show you, hey, it's the real card, pop report, and all that. This goes back to my thing is saying that, you know, I kind of like what GMG's doing by showing that original owner because you can always reach out to it and, and see, hey, did you sell this card or not? If so, try to at least track down who's had it. Especially if you're going to be spending a lot of money on something. I mean, that, that to me is just priceless because i would if i was to spend something on a card i'm gonna, this is me now this ain't like a, a lot of other people probably would say oh that's not a lot of money some people would probably say well no i you know anything over 500 dollars to me if i was going to spend 10 grand or more on a card i you know what even if i spend five grand or more on a card and it was great and, and i like it was pokemon i would seriously reach out every which way to try to figure it out and if it had somebody's name on the back of it who owned it especially the psa database i would exhaust every resource possible until i could find out if that is the card that's being sold that's me and trust me i would spend weeks on it it wouldn't matter well actually i wouldn't have that much time if it was on auction but you guys get the point on to it be careful out there. This was on Instagram. They said a big flag because it was the money value and stuff on. Let me pull the pictures up here. Uh, let's see if we can blow it up some here. There you guys go. Uh, like I said, if I saw this real quick, I probably wouldn't, you know, think much out. I think it was a real thing. Probably because, you know, I'm just looking at the picture quick and I'm trying to nail a snipe in. Oh, this was who was doing it. <laughs> then check this out. Pokemon TCG replica seller. Just crazy. People probably bought these and now they're going to have them on the market. Oh, that's it in the picture. Sorry, guys. I thought there was more. But just be careful with what you're buying, especially if it's something you have no idea about. Guys, if you have no idea, you could ask anybody out there. I mean, if you want to my Facebook group is kind of like is defunct the word like we don't really use it that much but if you want to join the the old extreme car breaks facebook group and post a picture and say hey can somebody help me out this is real there's some bigger collectors on there that will uh shine in in a minute on to it now you know you're probably going to get a little hassle from some of the guys on there but because that, that's just the way they are with uh any post on stuff like that there but if you were really to buy something big on there, I'm sure the community on there would at least let you know their opinion on to it. But if you don't have nowhere else to go, you can go, you can email me. I'll make a video up for you with the pictures on to ask people on to it. I got no issue doing that, uh, especially if it's a big card. You're about to spend a lot of money that, you know, 
that you normally wouldn't hey reach out hit me up i'll post a video if i don't know the answer or couldn't help you out somebody out there will help you i guarantee you somebody out there is going to be like man that, that's just not right it's not real so i guess that's something i'll open up if you guys are unsure about a card and it you know not the value wise onto it but like if it being authentic you know because you just have no idea what the vintage or this or something looks off on the psa thing Get the picture, send to me. If I don't know the answer and I can't get it quick enough, I'll shoot a quick video out on YouTube and let the community help you out. I, I think that'd be kind of good to do. So we'll, we'll look at doing that. We're looking to doing that for sure. I, I think that would be a great help to a lot of people out there. And that way people can look and they can start, you know, learning, especially this stuff here, before you guys start throwing money away on replicas and all this other stuff that's going on out there. But I wanted to hit this up real quick today, people, everybody. Um, I almost said people. I want to hit this up real quick, people. But if, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been doing so many videos and talking on the phone all day. So words are just coming out of my mouth like at random anymore. Craziness, huh? But that's it. Thank you guys for watching as always. If you're new, subscribe. We're trying to get to 4K. Other than that, take care, everybody. See you guys on the live stream when it comes out for the auction on Friday. Friday, yeah, Friday.